But I was not aware of this fact. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, awesome. Well, it's really nice of you yeah. to stop and have a chat. This is an interview from a recent outreach event I attended. I think it went quite well. So if you're curious about the questions I ask, um, be sure to keep an eye out for the captions um, below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. So have you been a uh, vegetarian for long then? I'm from Perth only. Like, uh, I'm from, from India. Uh -huh. So generally 70% in India are vegetarians only. Uh -huh. So we eat vegetarian. So like, it's more from a religious perspective? Kind of a religious perspective, yes. Uh, because in India there is a Hinduism uh -huh. which actually teach, uh, teach you don't eat uh, uh, meat and all. So that's why. Uh -huh. yeah. So what, how do you feel about kind of the animal cruelty side of things? It's bad, uh, but uh, until unless we are aware of why not to eat uh, meat, then only we can be aware of. Uh -huh. Because many people don't know why to not to eat. Why not to eat, right? And yeah, that's not, why we're it's, yeah. not, it's not uh, even, it's, that's a side, the side you are able to see because there are a lot of uh, uh, meat aid meat eaters are there. That's why they are doing because they have to make an industry. Uh -huh. Right? Otherwise, if, if we understand uh, that we are not meant for meat, then only we can go for ve vegan or vegetarian, whatever. That's a great way to put that. Yeah. So do you think we can thrive um, without eating um, uh, animals or what comes from them? Of course, but first of all, we need to make that much food also, right? Otherwise, there are, in, in West, there are a lot of meat uh, out there. Like, what they will eat if they don't have uh, vegetarians, right? Uh -huh. So they need to put that uh, habit of eating veg, uh -huh, uh -huh. like uh, uh, in a week, one once one day uh, vegetarian only. Start with that only at least. I think you're right. It's, it's definitely a habit that's formed. I know for me, the hardest thing um, to give up was cheese. Uh, yeah. Um, so so yeah, I guess kind of. What's your um, understanding of kind of? I don't know if you eat eggs. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Previously, I uh, eat eggs, but now I'm not eating eggs. Only, so, so yeah. like, how do you feel about the the dairy industry, for instance? Yeah, actually. Uh, they have made a market only, so it's not good, but uh, we need to be aware of only, then only we can, you know, uh, come over from it. Because uh -huh. previously, uh, milk was uh, a diet part, but now it's an industry like uh, you can bottle milk for a year only. And we don't want that much uh, ear validity of uh, milk, right? But we are producing like anything. We are, we have make a factory of a, a cow, right? Uh huh. It's exactly. Not, it's not. It's not human, right? Yeah, and, and, and the, the footage here represents 98 percent of the supply. Um, so yeah, I, I, because, because if you take an example, if you nature, take an yeah. example, a tiger can also eat in a one day every animal in the forest, but he never eats that. He only <laughs> eats one animal because that's what he is entitled to. He want he is having hunger of one one animal only, one at a time. But we humans are killing like anything, even yeah. though. For a year, for a long, one year we are uh, storing the meat, right? And it's so easy Tiger today to go to Burger King, right? McDonald's. It's very easy so available. And, yep, exactly, exactly. So do you think there is animal cruelty involved in dairy? Yes, of course, it is. Otherwise you will not get that much milk, right, and that much dairy. Yeah, and I guess the biggest thing, um, are you familiar with what happens to the male calves in the dairy industry? Sorry? Are you familiar with what happens to the male calves? Yeah, yeah. In the dairy industry, how they're, they're taken away? Yeah, and I think because that's the thing that really spoke to me. Yes, of course. But we need to be aware of means uh, what are the clothes uh, they are making about it or what are the uh, <coughs> products they are making about it, right? Mm -hmm. Some products, yes, we definitely need, but uh, some products we don't need, right? Which which products is, you, you, uh, you mean from animal? Is there pro products yeah. that you think we need from animals? Like uh, shoes, right? But you will get uh, that, uh, you know, what to say, skin after they're dead. But you are killing just to get the, get the skin, right? Yeah. That's not, that's not human. I think that's a great point. And the thing that really shocked me is a lot of the leather industry is raised um, purely for that and not used for other purposes. Yes. So it's really... I mean, and do you think you can uh, make footwear, for instance, your example, without um, skin from animal? 
I think yes, of course we can. We are innovative enough. You know, we can make from plastic, we can uh -huh. make from uh -huh. anywhere else. We need to think about it. It's just a mentality change we need to do. Yeah, because these, for instance, they look like they're leather, but they're uh, a velo leather. Yeah. That's kind of a fake leather. Yes, um, rubber, you can say. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can make it. It's just an innovation that we need to bring it. It's not just, uh, just uh, you know, awareness is fine, but we need to innovate also. Yeah. So, so do you think, um, so if the shoes, it sounds like we can probably do without, do you think there's any reason to raise animals for any purpose? It's cheap. Yeah. It's cheap. So, there is no value of a life, right? Them, if there is a value, then yeah. they will not kill. They are not able to kill humans, right? They can make something about this also, like this is skin. But they cannot do because our government has put some rules because they think we have a life, but they don't think they have a life, right? That's a great point. And I think that imbalance has been in, in place for a long time. And, and then I guess the question is, do you want to live in a society where the government tells you what to do or what we, where I we decide? We should, what we, should, we should take the initiative because government, government is... Uh, I would say a responder only. We need to take initiative, then only they will respond. That's because they have a lot of issues. We, if we are aware of, we are not going to use. If if the use is low, if we are aware of what, what actually it is, then people will start losing the charm of leather, charm of these things. Yeah, that's a great point. So what, what do you think it is for you that would, uh, uh, um, what um, reasons would it be for you to give up dairy, for instance? First of all, uh, there is a misconception that only dairy can give you protein. Mm -hmm. There is a very, uh, very wrong misconception, I would say. There are, if you heard about spirulina, uh -huh. so that gives you five times then milk yeah. protein. Everything yeah. it is having. It's great point. But chia seeds, you can say, because people are not aware of. Because people have marketed um, milk as a protein, only uh -huh. protein. Uh, of, uh, material, but uh -huh. it's not like that. People are not aware of because you will not find spirulina everywhere. But it is, it is the most healthiest food in the uh, human. Uh, right now we are here, so that's the more uh, most uh, profitable thing we can eat. But we don't eat. Do you think there's protein in plants? Yes, of course. Yeah, so that, 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 because, I think that's the one thing that really shocked me is uh, uh, like beans and corn are like 20% of the calories from protein. And then, like you say, it's not... In India, know. in India, we don't uh, rely on only milk. We have, uh, we have, uh, uh, I would say, dal, uh, we uh -huh. say... Uh, I had some dal, lovely yeah. dal last night. So yeah. that, that uh, uh, and raw dal also we eat. Uh -huh. That's called sprouts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So a, a, when you pour into a uh, water and just uh, uh, outside the water, then it becomes like a plant, and uh -huh. you can eat, and it has a very good protein. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So people need awareness, I think. Yeah, and I think one thing that really shocked me is um, that uh, human milk, you know, from our mothers, is only five percent of its calories from protein, whereas your average Western diet is 20, 25, 30 percent. So it's, it's almost um, we should almost be worried about getting too much of yes. some of this. I that, think. Is why, that is why we are having so many uh, illness also because of uh -huh. so much protein. Everybody wants a body, but we are not meant for that body. Uh -huh. We are not understanding. We want protein shakes, uh -huh. right? But we need to understand. Uh, if you are getting anything artificial, it is artificial. Uh -huh. right? It's not natural. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like you've looked into this a lot. It's great. Um, uh, how do you feel about the addictive component of uh, dairy? Addictive, yes, like a tea. Everybody have a habit of a tea. But there is an alternate of green tea, right? Uh -huh. You can have green tea. Yeah, and I guess milk specifically, um, I don't know if you've heard of the term uh, caseomorphines. Um, so it's queso and then morphine. It's literally an addictive um, thing that's in milk. And it makes sense because in nature, um, the mother calf, uh, cow doesn't want her calf wandering too far. Yeah. So it's a, literally a, about 10% of the strength of morphine that keeps the calf coming back for more. The only problem is when humans ingest dairy, it has the same the same uh, effect. So it triggers those dopamine receptors. Oh, is it? So this, this really shocked me because I, 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 I uh, joked that I was a, a cheeseaholic. But I think I really was, you know, properly, you know, addicted. I, has that ever kind of entered into your kind of thinking around cheese or dairy? I'm not uh, found of anything, I would say, uh, because I keep changing things. It's uh -huh. not something um, I need anything. So 
I'm a kind of a different person. But yes, uh, earlier I was also having daily milk. Uh huh. But I was not aware of this fact. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, awesome. Well, it's really nice to, yeah. for you to stop and have a chat. It sounds like you're, you've really considered some of the things. There's, I'll give you a card here in a minute. But um, one of the programs that's quite new, uh, it's called Challenge 22 Plus. And if you want to, you can take a three-week, um, basically vegan challenge, and you get assigned a mentor, and they make it really easy. Um, it sounds like it sounds like you're basically there. It's really just the dairy side of it. So it's, it, uh, when you're ready, you can kind of um, have a few weeks and just have a, uh, a look. And I know for me, um, I lost 25 kg when I cut out dairy. Mm-hmm. So it's just immediate and just energy levels and stuff. So yes. it might be something you want to give a go. Actually, so, I, I sometimes do it uh, by my own only. Because uh-huh. in a month, I, I just uh, drink... Uh, one kg of milk max and uh-huh. it's not necessary I just go and take some some time I eat it's not regular for me I kind of a vegan only uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so. yeah it sounds like you're pretty much all the way there yeah. Um, yeah let me give you so this is um, this is non-graphic so these are some of the best um, free talks I found on YouTube mm-hmm. um, various lengths this is one of the top best I found out there and then a few more documentaries but then at the bottom here is this challenge 22 plus um, when you're ready you can sign up and it'll basically just uh, uh, sets you up for success. Uh, so when you're ready, I would to also give it a suggest try. one 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 uh, YouTube channel which will give you more information where I have got this uh-huh. spirulina and chia seeds. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. So there is a in, Infinity Water. Infinity. Oh, okay, I think I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. So that is a very good channel, and that that person actually also gives a vegan challenge, and he actually educates people. Awesome. So that is a very good channel. You can refer it. <laughs> that be, that's brilliant cool, because um, a bit off topic, but I just started drinking uh, distilled water. Um, have you had much experience with distilled water where you um, um, uh, take all the minerals out of the water? Not, no, no, yeah. I'm not aware of. Because um, so I'm based down in Brighton, and because of the salt shock um, uh, from the cliffs, all the, uh, the chalk that gets into the, the water, it's really, really high mineral content, and it's uh, inorganic stuff our bodies can't really use. And so basically the distiller just cooks everything out, um, and literally you're left with pure water. And it's amazing. It goes back to the same thing of when you put um, you know, pure stuff in your body, it just it, your system runs cleaner. And Anyway, so it sounds like you're into the water thing. That's, that's another side passion of mine. So. What, was, what was your name? Manmohan Kapoor. Um, Manmohan? Manmohan Kapoor, yeah. Kapoor? Okay, awesome. Thank you for chatting. Thank you. Cheers. Nice to, Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, so that was the interview. In my opinion, they were in the preparation or action stage, meaning they've considered the issues around animal agriculture, and they want to do something about it, and, and they're getting ready to. So I focused on reiterating the ethical considerations as well as helping to build their support network and give them the tools necessary to to help them uh, uh, make that transition and and evolve to veganism. Um, If you think the chat was effective, let me know in the comments below. Um, If there's some strategies you uh, think that were particularly effective, um, let me know that too and maybe some things that I could work on. So really appreciate any feedback you have. Yeah, and I just started experimenting with the uh, uh, thought bubbles. So if you thought that um, uh, was a, a good addition and helped it um, to be more engaging, uh, let me know that too. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.